स्टूडेंट टुडे वी विल लर्न द चैप्टर प्रॉबर्टी एंड प्रॉबर्टी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन पार्ट सिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट द बायोनोमियल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ओके इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स इन पार्ट फाइव आई हैव डिस्क्राइब्ड अबाउट द बर्नोली डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन टेबल फॉर द सेम एग्जाम्पल्स वी विल लर्न द बायोनोमियल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन बिफोर गोइंग दिस आई वॉन्ट टू बी से दैट यू नो द वैल्यू ऑफ क्यू प्लस पी दैट इज इक्वल टू वन क्यू इज द प्रॉबर्टी ऑफ नॉट हैपनिंग event and p is the probability of happening of event and you know the binomial series power n that is n c 0 q to the power n into n minus 0 p to the power 0 plus n c 1 q to the power n minus 1 p to the power 1 Plus n c two q to the power n minus two p to the power two and so on n c n q to the power n minus n minus zero p to the power n. This is the binomial series. Expanding of this, if you don't know the binomial series, you have to study the chapter binomial theorem of any index of. You have to learn this video from previous lectures. So, first you go to this series, binomial series. Now I am coming to binomial distribution. Okay. Now, if we select from n things r, from n different things, we select r different things. We say n c r. We say n c r. Okay, from n different thing we select r different things. Now, if we say probability of one event is p, and probability of other event is also p, and probability of other event is also p. This way, if you say r times. And other n minus r times, you say the probability of not happening n minus r times. Then by and product theorem, we can say total probability of selecting of r object from n object that is n p r. P to the power r into q to the power n minus r, and this v is the general terms of r plus one, that is n n c r n c r q to the power n minus r p to the power r in expansion of q plus p to the power n. Isn't it? So using this, we can describe that. In the previous question, I have given two coins. Two coins are thrown. So your S was H H H T T H T T. Now I am saying, draw a sample space. Draw a Sample space. If hundred coins are thrown, so you have to describe this way, this way, this way, this way, and so on. So this is a very big tree method. Then you can find out the sample space. Since this you have 
described only two times but it is 100 coins so it is a very tough method to describe these questions by Bernoulli method so here is a main difference of Bernoulli method and binomial method is that these questions can be say one coin is tossed by 100 times so now the question is one coin is tossed by 100 times then this is the same questions but now this is described by binomial so that is a very big difference this is easier by binomial but this is not easier by Bernoulli okay so I am taking a questions that <coughs> one coin is tossed two times okay so I am saying s equal to h t only and s equal to 2 to coming of head event is 1 by 2 and q e is 1 minus p e equal to 1 minus 1 by 2 equal to 1 by 2 here n equal to 2 this one is two times okay so we can say that to coming of head x head times zero times one times or two times then what is the probability of according to binomial so for x equal to 0 then p e is selecting from 2 0 times and we can say in all 2 times there is not happening of head it means we can write is 0 0 why it is multiplied I have already written it is 2 to the power minus 0 and we can write this way so using this we can say 1 and this is 1 by 2 square into 1 so it is 1 by 4 okay so this one is 1 by 4 now if x equal to 1 so we can say probability of this is selecting of 2 1 from 2 and 1 times q is happening not happening and other time is one head is happening so we can write 2 c1 q to the power 2 minus 1 <coughs> p d the power 1 it is 2 it is 1 by 2 to power 1 1 by 2 to the power 1 it is 2 by 4 so we can write is 2 by 4 now for x equal to 2 we can say this probability is selecting from 2 from 2 and all the time one times is also had other times is also had so we can sign 2 c2 q to the power 2 minus 2 p to the power 2 so it is 1 it is 1 and it is 1 by 2 square so it is 1 by 4 so we can write here 1 now we can say sigma p is here q plus p to the power 2 so it is 1 square is 1 and also you can add this and you can say 1 by 4 plus 2 by 4 plus 1 by 4 is 1 okay so it is a probability distribution table according to binomial so this one is the binomial formula so it is easier when we toss one coins n times okay student now if you want to find the mean the using mean formula is n into p only n is 2 and p here is 1 by 2 we can get 1 now variance formula variance is n into p into q it is easier than binomial okay n is 2 p is 1 by 2 and q is 1 by 2 we get 1 by 2 
Now standard deviation is under root variance that is under root 1 by 2 equal to root 2 upon 2. So this way you can check that what is the answer in the binomial and what is the answer in Bernoulli that all are same. Okay student. Right. So student uh, doing this we can do the so many questions. Now if you want to prove this NP and NPQ add this formula by using the uh, Bernoulli distribution according to Bernoulli distribution so we can also prove this formula NP and NPQ but uh, it is not necessary for you so you have to learn this is an easy way okay so now using this you can do you by the binomial distribution now I am doing some questions now if there are five ship okay and they go out and to coming back to coming back safely the probability of one ship is let 1 by 4 so not safely is that is 1 minus 1 by 4 equal to 3 by 4 now it is the question that exactly exactly two ship come safe so what is the probability then probability of exactly two ship come safe is that is from five ship b and find to two and p to the power two and rest of this unsafe five minus two p power two means exactly two ships are coming safe so using this p value and q value you can five this five into four upon factorial two into q is three by four to the power three into one by four to the power two and you can now solve this exactly two ship now if the question is at least two ship come safe so you you have to do 5c2 into p to the power 2 q to the power 3 plus 3 ship also 5c3 p to the power 3 q to the power 2 plus 4 ship also 5c4 p to the power 4 q to the power 1 and also 5c5 q to the power p to the power 5 q to the power 0 and this also you can find out total value of probability is 1 and you can say 5c1 p to the power 1 q to the power 4 plus 5c0 p to the power 0 q to the power 5 and this way you can also solve this exactly at least two ship okay two ship three ship four ship and five ship or one minus this ship this way you can solve putting the value here you can find it okay now if you want to be described the tot total table so you have to write this way x and p zero ship one ship, two ship, three ship, four ship and five ship. Okay. So here is the you can write N five C zero Q to the power five P to the power zero. No zero ship safe. Zero ship safe this one. And here you can write five C one q to the power 4 p to the power 1 here you can write 5 c 2 q to the power 3 p square here you can write 5 c 3 p to the power 3 q to the power 2 and 
Similarly, you can say here what you can write 5c4 p to the power 4 q to the power 1 and the last here you can write 5c5 p to the power 5 q to the power 0 and total of this sigma p is 1 okay since p q plus p to the power 5 1 to the power 5 x 1 so this way you have to describe the probability distribution table fill it this and you can learn this okay student so you can do so many questions from your books okay and do practice then you will become a learn so more and more and thank you for watching thank you